During my study of the Quran, I was astounded to find out that Muhammad had even less knowledge and understanding of the New Testament than he had of the Hebrew Bible, particularly in the case of Mary, the mother of Jesus. Can you elaborate? The Quran, as we have shown and continue to show, is replete with historical, theological, character and events errors that are so immense in magnitude and so numerous that they can boggle the mind of any learned and unbiased person. In this particular case, the Qur'an has mixed up the biblical character of Miriam, the sister of Moses and Aaron, and the daughter of Amram, their father, of 1450 B.C., with the New Testament Mary, the mother of Jesus, of 1 B.C., a time difference of 1450 years. Because of these irreconcilable and astounding historical and theological errors, the exegetes of Muhammadan Islam unashamedly continued and still continue to perpetuate many blatant lies and deceptions upon humanity for the last 1400 years. In fact, in the Quran, the name Mary does not exist, but only the Arabic Maryam, forcing the translators and interpreters to use the name Mary so as to deliberately mislead the readers or listeners who either do not know Arabic or are ignorant of the New Testament or both. Even the translation of the Quran by Bichthol, a Christian convert to Muhammadan Islam, continued this deception. The verses that appear in the Quran were copied and altered by Muhammad almost verbatim from the Gospel of Luke chapter 1 and interspersed them among his surahs as and when he saw fit. As usual with Muhammad, he did not fully understand the context of the original stories from the points of view of both the theological and the historical, and hence got all of them jumbled up. Al-Imran 3.35 Behold, a woman of Imran said, O my Lord, I do dedicate unto thee what is in my womb for thy special service, so accept this of me, for thou hearest and knowest all things. And when she was delivered, she said, My Lord, lo, I am delivered of a female, have named her Maryam, and lo, I crave thy protection for her and for her offspring from Satan, the outcast. It is a fact that not a single word in the verses above was uttered by any New Testament character as alleged in the Quran. And since Maryam was a Jewess, she could not possibly have known the name Allah as it does not exist in the Hebrew Bible. It is imperative that our listeners are made aware of a most fundamental issue regarding the Quran and Muhammadan Islam. Allah is not God, but the name of the supreme pagan rock god of the Quraysh embedded in the corner wall of the Kaaba called the Black Stone, almost 1,000 desert miles away from Judea. Maryam could have only addressed herself to the God of Israel and Jesus as Hashem or Elohim, since the God of Israel has no name and was never called Allah. Al-Imran 3.42 Behold, the angel said, O Maryam, Allah hath chosen thee and purified thee, chosen thee above the women of all nations. Behold, the angel said, O Maryam, Allah giveth thee glad tidings of a word from him. His name will be Christ Jesus, the son of Maryam, held in honor in this world and the hereafter, and of the company of those nearest to Allah. The Quran is obviously wrong again here also, since Christ was not part of the name of Jesus, but a title, meaning Messiah, given to him after his death and not before his birth. Maryam 19.28 O sister of Aaron, thy father was not a man of evil, nor thy mother a woman unchaste. The above verse asserts in no uncertain terms that the Maryam repeatedly mentioned in the Quran as the mother of Jesus is the same as the sister of Aaron in the Bible, also called Maryam, which obviously makes her the daughter of Imran Amram. The confusion is completely on the side of Muhammad and his Qur'an and nowhere else. All the convoluted explanations by Abdullah Yusuf Ali and all other Muhammadan Muslims like him are as untruthful as Muhammad's Qur'anic verses above. Al-Tahrim 66.12 And Maryam, the daughter of Imran, Amram, who guarded her chastity and we breathed into her body of our spirit. As usual in the Qur'an. This is erroneous since according to the Gospel of Luke 3.24, Mary's father's name was Heli and not Imran. 
It is impossible that the angel Gabriel who predicted the arrival of Jesus could have told Muhammad such blatant lies. The angel who informed Muhammad could not have been Gabriel, nor could he have been a messenger from the God of Israel and Jesus. Either way, it adds to the lack of veracity of the Quranic verses which are totally at odds with the historical and theological records that had pre-existed both Muhammad and his Quran by 600 years. Sahih al-Bukhari hadith 4.570 narrated by Ibn Abbas. The Prophet entered the Kaaba and found in it the pictures of Prophet Abraham and Mary. On that he said, what is the matter with them, i.e. the Quraysh? They have already heard that angels do not enter a house in which there are pictures. Yet, this is the picture of Abraham. And why is he depicted as practicing divination by arrows? Bukhari should have known better than to incorporate this blatantly false isnad in his Sahih Hadith. Muhammad, after all, was visiting the Kaaba most of his life without once mentioning these alleged pictures in it. Bukhari 4.623, narrated by Abu Musa. Allah Apostle said, Many amongst men reach the level of perfection, but none amongst the women reach this level except Asiya, Pharaoh's wife, and Maryam, the daughter of Imran. Those of us who know the Bible also know that the name of Pharaoh's wife is not mentioned anywhere. This is another one of Muhammad's concoctions. What is most important of all is that Muhammad here also asserts that Maryam was the daughter of Imran. Sahih Bukhari Hadith 4.642, narrated by Ali. I heard the Prophet say, Maryam, the daughter of Imran, was the best among the women of the world in her time. And Khadija is the best amongst the women of this nation. Sahih Muslim Hadith 5.326, narrated by Mughira ibn Shu'bah. When I came to Najran, they, the Christians of Najran, asked me, You read, O sister of Harun, i.e. Maryam, in the Quran. Whereas Moses was born much before Jesus. When I came back to Allah's Messenger, I asked him about that. Whereupon he said, The people of old age used to give names after the names of apostles and pious persons who had gone before them. This is a most remarkable hadith, since it challenges the veracity of both Muhammad and his Quran by one of his followers and not by an enemy of Muhammad. Muhammad's answer is as false as the Quranic assertions regarding Maryam. Being the apostle of Allah, he forbade any of his followers to pursue the question lest they end up in hell. The unwillingness of the followers of Muhammad to question anything in the Quran continues unabated to this day. His followers of today are as ignorant of previous revelations as the pagan Arabs were 1400 years ago. The name of Maryam is repeated 34 times in 12 surahs in the Quran. There are hundreds of other instances in the Quran, similar to the ones above in their total lack of veracity, historicity, and accuracy, when they are compared to their originals in the Bible. No intelligent, decent, just, moral, and fair human being would accept that the Almighty would give two completely different and contradictory divine revelations and assert that both are true. Such an act cannot possibly be divine. And hence, the Quran is the singular product of Muhammad's fertile imagination.